Okay, today I'm going to show you how a universal thermocouple works. Well, it's called a universal thermocouple, but uh, people in the gas trade call it a pilot generator. And what it does is it There's a couple of components involved here, okay? First of all, there's the thermostatic probe, okay? That brings heat through this and allows gas to flow through this valve. This is a plunger here, okay? And inside of here is an electric, electrostatic device that is a plunger, okay? You can see that it plunges, okay? And when there is enough electricity going through this probe here, this probe is a bimetal probe. It's copper on the outside, it's another metal on the inside. The, this part gets heated in the flame of a burner. Okay. This is a rotisserie burner, an IR burner, a radiant burner. There's a number of different names for it, but this is where the heat is generated. Gas comes through the, through this right here, okay, goes in, gets shot into here, it it ends up in a chamber and it leaks out through these holes here, and then a igniter ignites this and then this glows red hot. You've seen these in barbecues and that's what this is for. This is for a rotisserie. Okay, so the object is to not allow gas to be flowing to this to through here without this being lit. So to monitor that you have a universal thermocouple that makes sure that there's a flame there. If the flame goes out, this valve pops up, it disallows gas to flow through here. And it cuts the, you know, basically cuts the gas off. So it has to reignite. Um, you push this down and what this will do, it'll, it'll compress the plunger right here. And the plunger will stay in the down position and allow gas to flow through from the inlet side to the outlet side of the valve. So it's a safety mechanism that you find on barbecues that have rotisserie burners. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify that I had to set this up with a new one, okay? So I have two of these on my barbecue because I have two rotisserie burners because it's 48 inch unit. So I'm going to verify that this is in safe working condition, that everything works as planned. This is an older uh, thermostatic probe here, okay, or an, an older thermocouple basically, okay, yeah, or whatever you want to call it, pilot generator is actually the proper term for it. Uh, it I'm going to test the circuit to make sure that this is generating electricity from this point here, opening the, up this valve allowing me to push the plunger down, keeping it down when it's lit and when it's hot. Now a flame, a blue flame or a green, green flame, depending on whether you're using LP or gas, will be around 2,000 degrees uh, at the source. So you know, it's going to be about 2,000 degrees. So it only takes a second or two for that to open up and allow that plunger inside of this unit to work. So. The way I do that is I've taken this out obviously, okay, this, this is a 72-inch long probe here. It has to go all the way around from the front of the barbecue to the back of the barbecue, and that's a 48-inch unit, so it's a rather large configuration. Now, normally, this is in a closed position for safety, okay? So that means that I should not be able to, bolt, there should not be able to be gas blowing from here, or this is the inlet side, blowing from here going out to here, but it's all the same. And you can see that there's arrows on here. Okay, there's arrows showing the flow of direction. So, uh, it's not on that side, I'm sorry. The arrows are on this side. You can see that little arrow right there. Okay, showing the flow of direction going from here out to here. Okay, and in between there's the chamber there, there's, there's this plunger. This rubber part on top stops the flow of gas going from one side to the other through that valve. So to test this, I have to put this probe under heat and see if it will allow me to blow gas through here and out to here. 
Now normally, as I said, this is closed for safety reasons, so if this blows out or whatever, you know, gas is not going to be allowed to pass from one side to the other. So, as you can see, I'm blowing on it and nothing's happening. So now, I'm going to go ahead and test it. Okay, that flame's about 2,000 degrees, so it's only going to take a couple seconds here. Just going to put the probe in here, let it get hot, and then I'm going to try to blow. And as you can see, I'm allowed to blow through here. At some point, you'll hear this pop. Still blowing because the, pro the probe's still hot. But at some point, the circuit will stop generating electricity. It will prevent me from being able... Oh, you just heard it pop. I just blew on it gas is not allowed to go through. So I know that this is a known good part. Thanks for watching the video.